Hey, so welcome back, and this is another daily code problem. So today it's called deepest leaf sum, and it's just a medium level tree problem here. So all that you have to do is take the sum of what the deepest leaves in the tree are. And so in this case, like there's these, um, oh no, there's three leaves here, the number seven, five, and eight. So what a leaf is, is just when they're kind of the bottommost node in the tree where they don't have any children, so there's no descendants of these nodes. And so the trick here though is you're outputting 15, and that's because you're actually excluding this one. You're only adding the sum of these two nodes here. And that's because you want the deepest leaves. And the depth of the tree kind of goes down this way, where this one would have a depth of four, while this one only has a depth of three. Now, it, it, it depends. Some, some people say that the edges is really the depth, not the number of nodes. I prefer counting the nodes, but everyone's different. But regardless, all that matters is that you only include in the sum kind of the, the lowest um, leaves in the tree. So this one doesn't count because it's not part of that group. Okay, so to do this, what we're gonna do is use a breadth first search or level order traversal. And that's just by going level by level downwards. And it's just a very intuitive way. If you thought about using like depth first search, it can be a bit trickier. Um, I just found using level order traversal, it's kind of exactly what this is uh, meant for, where you can just take it step by step and only be considering one level at a time, which just simplifies it. Because you can say, okay, if I find another level, let's just exclude any of the leaves that we found a level up. Okay, so to do that, we can just kind of do like a um, kind of blueprinted, uh, typical uh, depth first search approach. So this is kind of the templated implementation you might do whenever you're solving a, a depth first search problem. And so to do that, when you're using depth for search, you need a queue. And so let's go ahead and import that from our collections library. And we use the double ended queue called DQ here. And so with that, we can just define our queue. And we're just going to want to first throw in there our root node that's provided to us. And we just want to continue iterating while we have something on our queue. But at the end of this, we're going to want to return some result, some total sum that we're calculating. And so let's throw that right here. Okay, so from here, what you typically do whenever you're solving debt for search is you just say, okay, for in the range of whatever's on the queue, let's go ahead and process what's currently on our frontier. And so, oh, I can't type right now. Um, what you want to do is consider, okay, Let's process the node that we just popped off. So let's grab the next thing from our queue here. And so now we have the node that we just popped off for Frontier. And we can then say, okay, let's just add to our queue whatever its descendants are. And so you just do, okay, if there is a left node, let's go ahead and add that to our queue. And then we want to do the exact same thing here, but for the right side. Okay, and so this is just kind of a templated way of doing it. Now that we have our depth for search algorithm, we want to kind of tweak it so we can solve our problem. And so basically you want to add what the to our total sum whenever you reach a leaf node. And so what that's going to be is, okay, so if our node does not have anything on the left or the right, we know that it's a leaf node. So if there's no node on the left, and there's no node on the right, let's add that to our key, or let's add that to our sum. And so you just add the value of the current node. Okay, but the trick here is that we only want to add um, the bottom most row. And so what you want to do here is as we're going row by row, we don't want to continue to be adding all the leaves because right now this would actually output um, 15 plus five, so 20, because it would go down here and say, okay, there's no leaves, no leaves, and then it would find a leaf, add that to our total sum, and then go down this level and also add seven and eight. But what we're gonna do is whenever we find a new level, 
we're going to reset this value that's currently at back to zero. And then so when we add seven and eight, we only get 15 because we kind of deleted any of the leaves that we found in the levels above. What that looks like in code is pretty simple. You just, whenever you're processing a new layer, you just set that uh, current result back to zero. So if you run this, let's go ahead and it looks good. Um, but right before we submit it, we can actually kind of make this simpler um, because really what you end up having here is we know that the bottom most row is always going to be all leaves because there's nothing below it. And so because we know that, we don't really actually have to check whether or not the current node that we're processing is a leaf or not. And so you can actually just delete this. And just to kind of illustrate that better, like you can see here, the bottom most row, it's all leaves. And in this case, oh, I think there's, yeah, there's only one uh, kind of drawn example. You might be able to view it this way, yeah. And so the bottom most row here also only has leaves. So you don't really have to check whether it's a leaf or not. Um, just adding the values is enough. So let's go ahead and submit it and success. So yeah, I hope that helped and good luck with the rest of your algorithms. Thanks for watching.